Here we'll introduce you to a few different types of quadrilaterals. Quadrilateral is a fancy word for a polygon that has exactly four sides. Take a look at these polygons down here. Which of these are quadrilaterals? Great! These were the polygons that had exactly four sides, so these are the quadrilaterals. Let's take a closer look at this quadrilateral over here. This is an example of a special kind of quadrilateral called a rectangle. A rectangle is a quadrilateral whose angles are all right angles. And as you can see, all four of these angles here are right angles. So which of these other quadrilaterals are also rectangles? And if you'd like to review what right angles are instead, then click down here. Nicely done. The angles in these three quadrilaterals are all right angles, so they're rectangles. Next, let's take a closer look at this rectangle over here. This is an example of a square, which is a special kind of rectangle. A square is a rectangle whose sides all have the same length. So if I were to tell you that this bottom side of the square has length 5, then what are the lengths of the other sides of the square? Right. In a square, if one side has length 5, then they all have length 5. Let's switch gears and talk about another kind of quadrilateral, a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral where at least one pair of opposite sides are parallel. Here's an example of a trapezoid. Notice that these two sides are parallel, while the other two sides are not parallel. As long as at least one pair of opposite sides is parallel, a quadrilateral is a trapezoid. Now which of these other quadrilaterals are also trapezoids? Nicely done. In this quadrilateral, none of the sides are parallel, so it's not a trapezoid. These other quadrilaterals are all trapezoids because at least one pair of opposite sides are parallel. Let's take a closer look at this trapezoid. This is a special kind of trapezoid. This pair of opposite sides are parallel, and this other pair of opposite sides is also parallel. So this trapezoid is known as a parallelogram, which is the name for any quadrilateral where both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Which of these other quadrilaterals down here are also parallelograms? Right, these were the two parallelograms. This one over here also happens to be a rectangle because all its angles are right angles. But it's also a parallelogram because these two sides are parallel and these two sides are also parallel. Let's look at one more kind of quadrilateral, a rhombus. A rhombus is a quadrilateral whose sides all have the same length. Here's an example of a rhombus because all four of its sides have the same exact length. Now which of these quadrilaterals are also rhombi? And yeah, the plural of rhombus is rhombi. Right, these three shapes are rhombi. Okay, one more question. Let's look at this shape over here. The four angles in this shape are all right angles. And suppose that all four sides of this shape have the same length, which we'll call S. Which of these words correctly describe the shape up here? And as a reminder, here are the definitions for these different words. Nicely done. So yes, the most specific name for this shape up here is a square, but that also means it's a quadrilateral, a rectangle, a trapezoid, a parallelogram, and a rhombus. So while a shape might have a very specific name, keep in mind that it can fall into other categories of shapes as well. Before we get started, why don't you go ahead and identify which of these polygons here is a pentagon? or click here to review polygons. Exactly, this polygon is a pentagon because it has exactly five sides. Let's take a closer look. Now this is a special kind of pentagon known as a regular pentagon. For a polygon to be called regular, every side must have the same length and every angle must have the same measure. So if we look at this pentagon's five sides, sure enough they all have the same length. And if you look closely at all five angles, you'll find that they all have the same measure. Next, take a look at these three hexagons. Which of them is a regular hexagon? Excellent. If we look closely, we can see that for this hexagon, all the sides have the same length, but not all the angles are the same. 
and for this one, the angles are all the same, but not the sides. This is the regular hexagon over here, with equal sides as well as equal angles. So next, which of these triangles is a regular triangle? Nicely done. Some of these have two equal sides, but this is the only one with three equal sides. And which of these quadrilaterals is regular? Exactly, it's this one. And as you might already know, a regular quadrilateral is more commonly called a square. As your final challenge, take a look at these five road signs. Three of them are regular polygons. Which ones are they? Great! So this is a regular octagon with eight equal sides and angles. This is a regular triangle, and this is a regular quadrilateral. This quadrilateral is not regular. Not all its sides have the same length. And over here, this pentagon is not regular either. So nicely done. The perimeter of a shape is the total length around it. For example, suppose we have a triangle and its sides have lengths of 4, 7, and 9. If you walked in a loop around the outside of this triangle, what's the total distance you've traveled? Well, first you'd walk a distance of 4, then 7, and then 9. So the total distance around the triangle is 4 plus 7 plus 9, which equals 20. So the perimeter of this triangle is 20. Next, take a look at this pentagon, and here are all the side lengths. What's the perimeter of this pentagon? Right, by adding up all five side lengths, you found that the perimeter is 24 feet. So if you walked all the way around this pentagon, you'd walk a total of 24 feet. Many times, you won't be told the lengths of all the sides. You might have to figure some of them out for yourself. For example, here's a parallelogram. Suppose this side is 6 centimeters long, while this side is 10 centimeters long. Now for every parallelogram, opposite sides always have the same length. So try using this fact to determine the perimeter of this parallelogram. Or click here if you'd like to prove why this fact is true. Excellent! So because this is a parallelogram, this side is also 6 centimeters long, and this side is 10 centimeters long. So the perimeter is 2 times 6 plus 2 times 10, or 32 centimeters. Now here's a stop sign, which happens to be a regular octagon, meaning all eight of its sides have the same length. If one side measures 0.5 meters, or half a meter, what's the perimeter of this stop sign? Nicely done. Each side has a length of 0.5, and there are eight sides in all. So the total perimeter is 0.5 times 8, or 4 meters. Next, let's try working backwards. Suppose I tell you that this regular hexagon has a perimeter of 42 inches. How long is each side? Nicely done. This time, you divided the perimeter, 42 inches, by the number of sides, 6, and found that each side is 7 inches. OK, here's your next challenge. Suppose you're looking at a floor plan for a room, and all these angles at the corners are right angles, meaning they're 90 degrees. This room has a total of six sides, but the blueprint only shows the lengths of these four. But can you still figure out the perimeter for this room? If you get stuck, just click here. Finally, with this interactive, you can make any pentagon you want by dragging around its five vertices, or corners. Get a little creative and make your own pentagon whose perimeter is 30.